Tucked away behind a locked gate in Henry Coe State Park in Gilroy, a place where history and nature share space. Hey Matt, where's the flagpole? A glimpse of forlorn cabins give a hint of the glory days of the Gilroy Yamato Hot Springs. This is the Minnesota cabin. This is the oldest building we have on the property. Opened in 1860, this resort was a destination for well-heeled San Franciscans. There was a hotel, cabins. Visitors came to hunt, camp, relax, but especially to soak in the natural hot springs said to possess healing powers. Uh, it really became a, a popular destination for those wanting to take the waters. But the flow of time left the place in decay. The hotel burned down in the 1980s, and the public hasn't been allowed in for more than a half century. Give you a sense of what it could be. But now, part of the state parks department, life is trickling back. As you can see, we have a lot of work to do. Lucy Vogel is among a dedicated band of volunteers who started the Gilroy Hot Springs Conservancy. So we'd like to basically take the footprint of what this place was when it was the hot springs on the West Coast and make that a reality again. The group is raising money to restore the cabins, campsites, and most importantly, access to the waters. I've been in hot springs all over the world, and this is the most healing water that I've ever been in. Welcome to Gilroy Hot Springs, my first home. But the resort has a deeper legacy. A Japanese businessman bought it in the 30s and opened its doors to Japanese Americans released from internment camps following World War II. Laura Dominguez Yan, whose parents were in one of the camps, spent her first three years of life here. It's very peaceful, very hmm, nurturing, a replenishing of one's self. Uh, we feel uh, healing when we come here. We feel a sense of peace. Vogel sees the waters as a physical therapy, the grounds an emotional one. There are even plans to rebuild the old hotel. We would like to return it to its former historical glory. The goal is to reopen in the very near future, at a time when people could use escape and healing more than ever. Joe Rosado, Jr. We just really want to get in the water. NBC Bay Area News.